what are the bullet points to hit that basically we can say this is a board meeting? So let's let's put this right on the back of a napkin. It's that easy. So every quarter, I have a, a each of us has a, a board meeting with each of our children. You know what is a board meeting when triad leadership teams getting together? What do you do, Brad? Well. You uh, assess the last 90 days, and then you look ahead to the next 90 days, right? You regroup the team, and then you look ahead to the next 90 days. That's what I think in our entrepreneurial businesses, what a board meeting was about. And I thought when these two young boys came in my life, I said, I want to do that with them. Uh, they're, they're the most important investors and clients and team members in my life. So that's what we started to do. Every quarter, I'd have at least four hours, so at least a half a day with them only following three guiding principles, that's it. And the first principle is the most important, one-on-one. One-on-one uh, -on -one is the most overlooked strategy that could save so many marriages, so many families. If, if people hear nothing, Brad, and you know I say this all the time, you gotta get one-on-one. -on -one. If you will separate the parts, you will strengthen the whole. You know, that that individual time is so important and so rarely happens. You know, like I joke all the time, you know, I come from an Irish Catholic family, which means I have like 4,000 cousins, you know, and that's great. But but it's the one-on-one -on -one time where you get below the surface, where you have the more meaningful conversations, where you're more present and you see something that might need to be discussed or something of 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 interest in and in, in talent that you can help develop. Um, you know, one-on-one -on -one time is the best way to strengthen the family as a whole by doing it with each of the members. So every quarter, I'm one-on-one -on -one with each of my children. On this day that I get one-on-one -on -one with them, I'm doing a tech fest. There is no electronics. I don't bring my phone. If you have a team, they don't bring their phone. You know, we don't realize how much the devices can get between us. So... I don't want them between us on these days because nothing says I I don't respect you or prioritize you more than something else than you're in a conversation or playing with them and you stop and you take three texts or that quick phone call or look at the Facebook thread that you don't even need to read. Uh, so every quarter it's one-on-one -on -one and I'm doing a tech fest. The phones are off. There is no electronics. You've got to disconnect to reconnect. And the third thing is... Um, just go all in on what they're going to do. You know, I know from following you for years, you were not necessarily going from your football background, a Pokemon guy, uh, but you became a Pokemon guy uh, because, you know, it was a, it was a young interest of theirs and they wanted to have Pokemon day. So you go all in on what they do. They get to build the day, you know, people support what they help create. So we're always pointing our kids to what we think they might want to do. I let them design the day and go all in. And when you go all in, you know, it's called what we call fun activity with focused reflection. Fun activity with focused reflection is a big abbreviation of experiential education. And that gives you the chance to go deep with your child, really get into the trenches with them. And what happens at the end of the day is something called decompression, you know, where you can discuss the day. You can have a little bit more of a step back to assess your overall relationship. And one of the best ways to keep moving it forward that I find happen, Brad, is a sincere apology um, or a genuine apology. And those are two things that our children are missing today. Sincere compliments, genuine apologies. Um, because sometimes as busy entrepreneurs, advisors, we give ourselves immunity. You know, we're stealing over and we don't want to do that.